In wine grape vineyards, fruit zone leaf removal is a critical canopy management practice that increases sunlight and temperature of grape clusters, which are measured by these sensors. Cluster exposure to ambient light typically leads to increased wine quality potential and better cluster fungal disease management, especially in humid grape growing regions with high disease pressure like Pennsylvania. Relative to densely foliated shaded fruit zones, exposed fruit zones can have a greater airflow and reduce humidity and drying time. Further, fungicide penetration and coverage on clusters are likely increased in open fruit zones. Consequently, bunch rots are generally lower in exposed relatively to shaded grape clusters. Grape clusters exposed to sunlight and increased temperature tend to have a balanced primary fruit composition, namely an increased sugar to acid ratio, which is desirable for some cultivars and winemaking goals. Secondary metabolites that impart varietal character are typically increased in grape exposed to higher sunlight and temperatures. For example, methoxypyrazines, a compound class that produces green vegetal wine aromas, tend to be lower in exposed grapes, while norisoprenoids, a compound class that often produces floral fruit in wine aromas, is typically higher in sun-exposed grapes. Note that responses will depend on cultivar, vintage, and the magnitude of fruit exposure. If an insufficient number of leaves are removed, there may be a negligible difference in fruit chemistry and disease presence when compared to shaded grape clusters. This harvested Cabernet Sauvignon cluster has poor color development and fungal disease infection, both negative effects of excessive canopy shading. Fruit zone leaf removal should be implemented after fruit set, between the BB size berry stage and P size berry stage. If leaf removal is applied too early or before bloom, the result can be reduced fruit set and cluster compactness, which can help moderate bunch rots in some cultivars. However, the decreased fruit set can reduce cluster weights, so it's not recommended in all cultivars or when a yield reduction cannot be tolerated. If leaf removal is not implemented in a timely manner, then all is not lost. Some fruit zone leaf thinning between bunch closure and post veraison is fine. However, it may not be wise to completely defoliate the entire fruit zone in mid to late summer due to the threat of sun scald on berries that have developed in the shade since they were set in early summer. The magnitude of fruit zone leaf removal depends on several factors, including when leaf removal takes place, cultivar, training system, raw susceptibility, and fruit composition goals. In general, a fruit zone with zero to two leaf layers surrounding clusters have lower fruit rot and better fruit quality potential relatively to more shaded fruit zones. However, more modest leaf removal may be justified to reduce the risk of sunburn on the afternoon sun-exposed canopy side. Fruit zone leaf removal is a canopy management practice that generally improves wine grape quality. For more information on fruit zone leaf removal and canopy management, please visit the Penn State Extension Grape and Wine Team's website at extension.psu.edu backslash grape and wine. Thanks for watching and happy leaf pulling.